some of the obvious discriminatory practice happen on Wall Street as they do in other places. A prime example is pay inequity, that women for the same job are not paid the same way. Also, they may not be given the same cushy assignments, which can have an influence on how their careers develop. But there are also issues that are disturbing for women, which have to do with the character of the work environment, which can be a hostile one for women, and that's particularly true at Wall Street, which is a very, not only male-dominated, but very male field in the sense that the people there are highly competitive and aggressive. Now, what we mean by a hostile environment, the obvious things are sexist jokes or sexual harassment, and one has to be careful that those don't occur. But what's interesting is that there are also more subtle and seemingly benign things that can also create problems for women. For example, if a man tells a woman that uh, her dress looks lovely or her hair looks lovely, that is seemingly benign. And if the woman is disturbed by this, he's likely to think that she may be oversensitive. Whereas, in fact, one needs to be aware that whereas masculinity and traits like aggressiveness and bankers and professionalism actually are quite congruent, that's not true for femininity and professionalism, which seem to be quite different. So when a man compliments a woman, he is actually bringing up her femininity and undermining her professionalism. So in order to deal with many of these things, the pay inequities and the project inequities need to be audited every year. One needs to be careful that those are the same. A basic hostile environment can be ascertained by doing quality of life service uh, surveys and then comparing men and women. But the more critical thing may be to help the men understand how their behavior sometimes undermines the professionalism of women and makes them therefore less comfortable in that environment and less productive when they are there.